Welcome back, Gordon. Oh, um, you're all here. Yeah, but it's not for you. Don't flatter yourself. Anyway, how was London? Dreadful, sir. The station there is all wrong. Oh, dear. You went to Paddington, like I said. Ugh, here we go. No. It isn't King's Cross anymore. Or Euston. Or Paddington. It's all wrong. It's St. Pancras. What? <laughs> You're right. All of those stations exist in London. What? what? Yes. Each of those stations was built to serve each of the big four, given that London is the capital of the UK. Huh. Well, that makes sense. Good. Now, can we get back to the topic at hand, please? I'm sure you're all wondering why I called you all here. Well, for those of you who didn't know, I have been receiving loads of personal letters over the past few months, and they've increased greatly with the publication of the newest railway series book. They really introduced me in a book about Percy, didn't they? Hey, don't get too upset. Aldrich claimed I raised Harold after I arrived. You didn't even exist when that happened. Well, technically... Enough, all of you. Now, as I was saying, the letters I've been receiving are from children of several major cities and regions in the country. All of them have read your books, and some of them are questioning if you're even real or not. Well, duh, we're real. We aren't the only sentient vehicles in the world, you know. I'd like to finish a thought, if you don't mind. Anyway, several of these children have requested to meet you. So, in a week's time, all of us will be going to the big city. The big city? Wow! I don't think I've ever been to a big city before. Oh, I can't wait, sir. Which city are we going to? King's Cross? Paddington? Brighton? Tidmouth? All right, all right, take it easy. And to answer your question, no, 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 and... What? We're going to Euston. Now, as for the railway, I will be leaving Mr. Hugh in charge of operations. A group of eight engines from Euston will be arriving tomorrow to take over while we're gone. Each of them will cover your duties. Please show them what to do and where to go. Yes, yes sir. sir. Sir, we've got a problem. I just received word that Thomas has had an accident. You're kidding. How bad is it? Not awful, but his front is completely bent out of shape. Oh, for God's sakes. We're meant to be leaving in three days. Is he at the works? Yes, sir. That Jinty engine just delivered him there. Pug is taking over his duties. Pug? Oh, right. Percy's replacement. Anyway, I'll be there as soon as I can. Good God. Don't worry, sir. We're going to try and fix him as fast as we possibly can. Don't bother. We might as well just leave him here. What? Sir, please don't leave me behind. I'm sorry, Thomas, but you shouldn't have been showing off to that other engine. Besides, we won't be able to fix you in time. Yes, we can, sir. If we work throughout the night, we can have him ready by the morning of your departure. Well, that's just it. Not only would you have to work on him, but I also wanted the others to get repolished. No biggie. We can have it done in a jiff. Are you sure? Sure. So long as I get a raise. Consider it done. If you pull it off, that is. Perfect. All right, lads. Let's get back to work. You had better count yourself lucky, Thomas. I know. Thank you, sir. Don't thank me. Thank them. God, where is he? I must admit, he's taking a lot longer than I thought he would. Why don't we just start and then have him tag along at Croven's Gate? Good question. Why are we having him travel all the way across the island just to travel back? We're being photographed all throughout the island, and not having Thomas there would certainly get a rise out of the press. Fair point. Although I must admit, this is taking far too long. I'll give him one more minute, then we have to go. And right on cue. Oh, thank God you haven't left yet. 
We're leaving in five minutes, though, so you'd better get turned around quickly so we can leave. Right. All right, Edward. You were the first engine introduced and technically the first to arrive, so it's your time to shine. Go ahead and start us off. Really? Thank you, sir. You know, when I heard big city and grand shed, this isn't quite what I had in mind. Oh, don't worry. You'll be the stars of the show tomorrow, but it's too late to start a display today. Besides, we've been traveling for almost 36 hours. I'm exhausted. So, with that said, my family and I are going to turn in for the night. Get some sleep, everyone. Yes, yes sir. sir. Uh-oh. I can't breathe. Everyone good? I'm fine. Same here. Good. I didn't think I'd be spending my first night here crammed inside a shed. Indeed. We probably should have left two nights ago. But then we'd get here early in the morning and we'd be absolutely exhausted. I know our crews are exhausted, as is the Fat Controller and his family. True enough. So, is this really where we're going to be displayed? It looked quite different in my head. What doesn't look quite different in his head? <laughs> No, this is where we'll be sleeping. There's another larger shed that we'll be displaying at tomorrow and for the other days. They're just getting it ready for us. Oh. I must say, it's nice to see that there are still loads of steam engines running these lines, especially with all the rumors floating around. You've heard those too? Indeed. I've seen quite a few diesels at Barrow. I've never spoken to them though. I am a bit worried about them though. They could absolutely replace us. I've heard BR's plan is to start getting rid of steam and replacing them with diesels over the next decade. Replacing the old with the new isn't a new concept, Henry. It's just that this instance is far more drastic than any other example in British Rail history. It seems that most steam engines are going to bite the bullet, no matter how big, small, old, or young. We just have to stick together, do our jobs, and have hope. I agree. As long as we're all together, no one can cross us. And by we, we should also include the Fat Controller. Absolutely. The man has never scrapped an engine in his entire career. That's a feat he plans to remain loyal to, and I don't see that changing anytime soon. He's the reason many of us are still in service after so many years. Agreed. Sir Bertram is far better than my previous manager. He cares for us and provides for us, which is all an engine can ask for. Gentlemen, I suggest an alliance between the eight of us. We all help each other through this. I have a feeling it's going to be a rough few years, but if we stick together, we can get past it. Are we all in? Yes. yes. Good. Now, let's get some sleep. Ready, lads? Today's the big day. Oh, yes. 
I'm so excited. Hey, where's Thomas? Gah, finally. Thanks for not acknowledging my existence the entire night. God, I can finally smell something that isn't burnt coal. Oi, what does that mean? I'll reverse right back on you. He has a point, little James. Oh, shut it, you. All right, you all ready? Yes, yes, yes sir. sir. Right, let's go. I may not have said anything, but I am in on the Alliance. Good to hear. We're a family, and that's how it'll always be. Ready, James? Righto. This is my best smile. Ah! Oh, God! Oh. Why is the camera so bright? Oh, God. <laughs> Did you have a fun night behind James's tender? God, I could barely breathe back there, and he smells like rotten swamp water. Oi, I don't stink. I was lost right before we came here. I smell like perfection. If perfection smells like death, sure. Hey! I must admit, I was quite mature of you to suggest an alliance between the eight of us. I know. I might not have as much respect for some of these engines, but I do still care for them, and I'd hate to see anything bad happen to them. Whether I like it or not, this is my family, and I don't plan on leaving them behind. I respect that, and I'll always have your back, so to speak. Agreed. Quite a year it's been, eh, Duck? Indeed, sir. I never thought all this would happen to me. Well, we're glad to have you as part of the team. Thank you so much for making me feel like part of the family. I feel like I've known you all forever, of course. We're glad to have you. Indeed, you belong here. And so long as we're all together, nothing will come between the Fat Controller and his eight famous engines. <laughs>